Pruning a Gourmet Herb Arrow Garden Proper pruning can increase the yield and improve the health and appearance of your arrow garden. The first rule is don't prune more than a third of the plant and always start at the third leaf joint. This is Genovese basil. It's a very fast growing plant. Harvesting the newest growth encourages the plant to produce leaves and more leaves and less stem. Proper pruning enables you to keep your lights as low as possible as long as possible. This is great for light for those slow growing plants. Here's red Reuben basil. We're taking that newest growth at the third leaf joint. Let's also look around and see where this plant might be blocking light to some of the surrounding plants. See here? Blocking light to the dill. Let's go ahead and remove some of these leaves. We can also rotate this pod, putting the fuller side out and the thinner side in, allowing more light to reach those smaller plants. See how the mint is blocking the dill right here? Let's go ahead and harvest some mint. Mint is a fast growing plant that produces a great harvest. Removing the long stemmed pieces encourages new growth from the base of the plant. Mint is just great in iced tea, and there's going to be plenty of it. Let's move on to parsley. Parsley is a more slow growing plant, so we'll just remove this one stem here. And let's rotate this pod and let, and let the light get to the smaller plant. Let's move on to thyme. Thyme is also a slow grower and it is best to remove the long stem pieces just like we did with the mint. It will encourage new growth from the base and keep time from blocking light to other plants. One last look shows mint is still too bushy. Let's remove a few more pieces. Creating space between plants allows light to reach all the plants for great growth. Here's our harvest. Happy arrow gardening.